Before I say anything, I want to start off this video by saying this. Holy fucking shit! Thank you guys so, so much for all the support on my newest video. Never in a million years did I ever picture a video of mine getting this much support and attention. So like, genuinely, thank you so much. I only hope I can continue to provide cool content people can enjoy. But my subscriber count isn't the only thing I wanted to bring attention to in this video. Because as it's come to my attention, there was some info in my original Mario character appearances video that I straight up got wrong. Which, honestly, I'm not really surprised. When I was making this video, I knew in the back of my mind that a couple things would slip through the cracks, especially about a topic this jam-packed with names and dates and data. And besides, the people who actually corrected me on these things in the comments are genuinely super nice and cool about it, so thank you. So I figured, let's take this opportunity to clear up any little mistakes I may have made and go over some things I may have not counted for whatever reason, but in retrospect, kind of probably totally should have. As well as, a whole game I may have missed. Well, kinda, you'll, you'll, you'll see, just, just watch the video. Anyway, let's start with our first category. <laughs> well, to get the obvious out of the way, and probably the first mistake people picked up on, since Cat Peach was playable in Mario Kart 8, that would obviously mean she was also playable in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Admittedly, the story behind this blunder was I found out the character's existence way too late into editing the last video and, without really thinking about it, quickly slapped her in, totally not putting two and two together. Another totally obvious mistake I made was saying that Wiggler, Kamek, and Petey Piranha were added into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in DLC Wave 2 when in fact, it was Wave 5. For some reason, I say that Spike was playable in Tennis Ultra Smash, but in reality, his tennis game of choice was Tennis Aces, despite the fact I even wrote in the Excel sheet that it was Tennis Aces, so I have no clue how I got that mixed up. I also somehow totally forgot that Shy Guy was playable in Super Mario Party, despite having footage of him in the game during my big Gooma rant, so he goes up to 15 total appearances. I also didn't know that Baby Daisy's actual first appearance was in Super Sluggers, which also makes her a four-timer. Birdo, Dry Bones, and Roy were not playable in the Wii U versions of Rio Olympics, dropping them down to 21, 12, and 3 appearances respectively. Also, for some odd reason, I thought Toad was playable in Super Mario Party when he really obviously wasn't, which drops him down to 42 appearances. And finally, I totally wound up forgetting that Toadette was playable in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, bumping her up to 17 appearances. Now, on to stuff in retrospect I probably definitely should have counted. Did you know that there are two Mario Parties that have special bonus minigames that feature their own exclusive playable characters? Now, I knew about these originally, but didn't count them, because my thought process was, oh, well, it's just in one minigame. That shouldn't really count, right? But I did go on to count certain characters playable in the Rio Olympic games, even though they themselves were tied to being only playable in one sporting event. So, you know, I should have thought that through a little better. Anyway, the first party game to feature these minigames in question is Mario Party 4, with the bonus minigame Beach Volley Folly. Just a pretty basic volleyball minigame. But it included the playable editions of Toad, Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, Bowser, and Koopa Kid. And last up, we have Mario Party 5's Super Duel Mode, which is like this badass battle bots type minigame where you and your buddy make your own battle vehicles and fucking fight each other with them, and it's totally awesome! The only caveat being, its additional character selection is actually quite modest, having only one additional character, Donkey Kong. And finally, 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 we have it. The game I missed. 
well, I didn't miss it. I mean, I counted it a bunch of times, but, like, I just didn't count a certain subsection of characters. With those characters being the supporting characters of Mario Sports Superstars. These characters were excluded because they also fell into the same line of thinking I had with the previous characters, with them only being playable in the soccer and baseball modes. And I was also a bit weary since you select a team of them rather than as individuals, but like, dude, I counted the fucking soccer guys, so why shouldn't I have counted them? Kids, never do research for a video and then come back to it three months later to like start editing and making the actual video. You're, you're just going to be kicking yourself the whole time. Come on. Anyway, let's count these guys up. Starting with, oh, and you're going to love this, brand new one-timers. We have Flying Squirrel Toad, Penguin Toad, Fire Bro, Boomerang Bro, Stone Spike, and Bone Goomba, who is actually the most exclusive here, as he is only playable in the soccer mode, for whatever reason. And as for characters we already had in the pile, we have Toad, Koopa Troopa, Magikoopa, Paratroopa, Shy Guy, Hammer Bro, Spike, Boom Boom, Pom Pom, and fucking Goomba, my man! And finally, as this video is being edited, the final wave of DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass has dropped. This pass will include the additional playable characters of Funky Kong, Diddy Kong, Pauline, and our final one-timer, Peachette. And yeah, here's a big old results screen of how it all stacked up in the end. Of course, if I still got something wrong, I'll pin a little comment in the comment section talking about what it was, but I'm confident that should be it. And once again, thank you so much for all the support on the last video. I really can't convey just how much I appreciate it. I never thought in my wildest dreams that one of my shitty little videos would actually take off, so this is kind of crazy for me. But what I can convey is, hey, be sure to look forward to more videos like these in the future, as well as whatever weird niche topic I'm feeling that week. You know, some of it's Mario related, some of it's not. You know, I've got variety. Anyways, uh, once again, thank you so much, and I'll see you next video. Bye.